We are pleased to welcome Thomas Petterfee, who is the founder and CEO of Interactive Brokers, joining us here on Newsmax TV. Interactive Brokers is one of the country's leading digital stock trading platforms. It's been rated by Barron's and other agencies as the number one online broker. Mr. Petterfee is a true American success story. He immigrated to the United States from Hungary in 1965 with no money, according to Forbes magazine, which now ranks him number 22 on their Forbes 400 list. He's also considered the father of modern investing. Mr. Petterfee, it's great to have electronic you Electronic trading, not electronic investing. Well, electronic <laughs> trading, certainly. And, uh, you know, it is <laughs> modern. Though. I guess it modern, is modern investing modern. changes all the time. But thank you for being here. And I wanted to start by asking you about uh, the volatility we've seen on Wall Street as of late. Uh, we are hearing that the S&P 500 has shed about a uh, trillion and a half dollars worth of value since its high in September. Now, back in June, you were calling for a bear market. How does it feel to be right? Well, if you take uh, guesses often enough, some of the time you'll be right. <laughs> so, well, Wall Street is very volatile at, at this time. It is because of several headwinds. The U.S. Uh, Federal Reserve Board raising interest rates, the, the fight with China over tariffs, and of course the elections. And uh, so these three factors are you know, daily, the outlook changes, and uh, the market is extremely nervous and fidgety because of that. So you really, like a lot of people, you know, that are blaming the tariffs or blaming the trade wars, the rising interest rates, you see those also as, as the factors that are really driving this volatility. Oh, yes, I think on the short term, the elections are the greatest, biggest factor, but uh, interest rates and tariffs are certainly a big deal. Now, uh, on the positive side, President Trump signed the largest tax cuts in U.S. history. How do you see that impacting and helping the economy? I think it has a fantastic impact on the economy. The economy in the U.S. is really booming. Uh, the issue with the global economy, however, is that other um, regions like China and Europe and, and emerging markets uh, we see decelerating increase uh, growth in the economy. So it's it's a tug of war whether the the U.S. Uh, rising in in productivity and and uh, uh, the the rise in economic uh, activity can can counterbalance the the downward pressure of the rest of the world. What letter grade would you give President Trump and his economic team on how they're handling trade policy? Well, I, <laughs> I, I would give them an A1. <laughs> an, a, an A plus? An A plus, yes. An A plus. So in other words, you feel like the, the reaction from investors to these tariffs is an emotional one, not necessarily one based on well, the fundamentals. Well, I wouldn't quite say so. So look, it's, it's both sides are going to suffer. The U.S. is going to suffer less than China in this dispute. Uh, so therefore, we are at a point now where we can afford to have the fight. The fight is necessary and it had to come sooner or later because China is really taking advantage of our economy and uh, especially as far as stealing intellectual property. So it's very difficult to do any business with them because they just take the intellectual property and they reproduce it and you're out. And it's a so, fight that we needed yeah. to have, worth right. having, for yeah. sure. We have to have this fight, and, and now that the U.S. is economically so strong, is the right time to have this fight because we can take some losses. Uh, so if, if, if this fight resolves itself in a fairly short period of time, then this is going to be a huge positive. However, you know, the Chinese can just bite their lips and, and you know, it's communism, so they, they, they can do whatever they want right. to the people, right? They can rig the so, system. So, so uh, it doesn't matter how unhappy that people will become as long as there is no up uprising, they can, they can just hold the line. Right. So that's where the big question is, what will happen here, right? You certainly have a, a large number of clients at Interactive Brokers. When you look at sort of the trends, what's happening with those folks, what are you seeing? What are their trades telling you? And how are they reacting to the current uh, landscape of the market? So our customers are yeah, quite sophisticated and, and uh, they have, uh, at least some of them have uh, cut their positions about a month or two ago. So. Uh, 
it is not hurting our customers as much, the, the, what's going on in the market. However, we also have a large number of customers in the Far East, okay. and they are losing a lot of money. So it's, it's overall, it's, it's a problem for our customers. And time to pay attention. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about interactive brokers and explain to us, you know, how you guys utilize idle cash sitting in someone's brokerage account and how that helps investors. So, uh, if you have idle cash in your brokerage account with most brokers or banks, you get practically no interest, a fraction of 1%. Uh, we have accumulated a lot of idle cash in our customers' accounts because our customers know that we pay them currently 1.68% interest, which is, which is more than practically anybody else pays on immediately available cash. Right. So it's not that you have to be, you, you go along, you want to buy a car at, at another uh, bank or broker, you have to move your money from your savings account to your uh, regular checking account, etc. Here it's always available on any moment notice. So this is quite unique, and for that reason, many, many people uh, bring all their cash to us if once they have a brokerage account with us, they keep it there other than in the bank that pays, say, I called uh, JP Morgan Chase the other day and asked, how much money are you paying <laughs> on, the, on the account, on, the, on my account? They <laughs> said 0.01%. <laughs> you guys offer a much better rate, right. and it's, you know, once I'm sure people hear about, they'll see that as an attractive offer, um, an attractive option, too, to put your money to work in other ways. Uh, now, I mentioned early on that you immigrated from Hungary in 1965 with no money in your pocket, and you criticized the growing uh, trend of socialism in America. We heard some politicians uh, embrace that label of being a democratic socialist. Are you still concerned about socialism and it's really gaining, gaining traction here in the United States? Well, socialism is an absolutely wonderful idea for people who have never experienced it. Those people who experience it know how horrible it is. It's, it's, it's regular, literal, daily suffering, where you are not free to do anything practically. So it's, it's, it's not something that, it's like Venezuela. It's, it's, there is no, you cannot bring an example where socialism, prevailed and succeeded, and it still exists where people are not enormously unhappy. And I think you see a reaction, a response to the socialism in Venezuela and other countries like Brazil, where they just erect, uh, elected a you know, right-wing candidate. Well, they didn't really reach socialism, but they, they, they were obviously they were uh, concerned about start, it. Start, starting to get there, and it, uh, people started to suffer economically, and they reversed in time. But you know, socialism is an intolerable system. Let's say uh, the Democrats do win back the House of Representatives, as many are predicting. How do you see that impacting the stock market? Well, so, so what do we have here? We have, when elections come in eight days, we have three possible outcomes. One is that the, uh, the House goes to the Democrats, Senate stays with the Republicans, I think the market is going to go down 4% roughly. Really? House and Senate both go Democrat, market's going to go down 10 to 15%. House and Senate both go Republican or stay Republican, market's going to go almost all the way back to where it was a month ago. Remember back 2016, we saw an almost immediate reaction from Wall Street selling off after the announcement of President Trump. Perhaps another emotional response to what happened politically. Do you see another immediate response after? Oh, the absolutely. It, it will. You see, the future straight 24 hours a day. The Standard and Poor's 500 future straight 24 hours a day. So just like I did when when Trump came in on on election night at 10 o'clock, I picked up the phone, started to buy futures contracts when I saw the market plunging. Uh, the same thing will happen today, except people will, this time people will get it right. So if the Republicans win, the market is not going to go down, the market is going to go up. But there is still, for if you're quick on the draw, you can still make some money that evening. Well, if you got the uh, bear market right here for this uh, late summer, early fall situation we're dealing with. Great to but, have you but, with us. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. 
but we don't know yet what the outcome will be. That's so right. don't, uh, this is not an opportunity uh, yet. I was just about to say, <laughs> make sure you talk to your financial advisor or your broker before you make any right. decisions based on the outcome of elections. Thomas Betterfee has a lot more experience than most of us in this arena. Uh, CEO of Interac Interactive Brokers. People can find your website at interactivebrokers.com. We encourage them to do so. And it's great to have you with us. Thank you so much for being and here. And open an account. And open an account, too, at Interactive <laughs> Brokers and put that money to work. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more live breaking news coverage, exclusive interviews, and videos from Newsmax TV, click subscribe on our YouTube channel and don't forget to download the free Newsmax TV app for alerts. Newsmax TV, it's real news for real people.